Hello. And oh, wait, 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 wait. And no. Yep. Welcome back. <laughs> How are you? Good. Good it. Let's keep our journey and see how we can find more materials to use on this island. As the young dem dem damsel pointed out, this island is more than a little lack lack lacking in useful materials for an inspiring builder. But even if you had everything you needed, I doubt you'd make such ed ed headway with just the three of you. Wood and stone, stone, stone are all we are all well and good, but what you really need is people. You will have to travel to other islands and bring back, back, back a few friends to help you out. Besides, it gets lonely rat, rat, rattling around on these big islands all by yourself. A few fresh faces will really lift the place up. Now we can have slaves. <laughs> I mean, not slaves, citizens. Hold on, I thought you were stranded here. How are we supposed to get to those other islands without a ship? <laughs> a top, 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 top notch question indeed. And one that, that the heavens shall soon answer. You're just winging this, aren't you? You don't have a clue. Hmm. Oh, a boat! Ho ho ho! A ship, ship, ship! However, would have thought it. Whoever would have thought it. So we are not using the portals yet. We are doing this on purpose now. You are. All right. How do we do it? Who are you really? And you can call. And you can cut all that guardian spirit rubbish. Well, to tell you the truth, I can remember mem who I am. I'm not even sure I ever knew. But I've got a funny feeling that it will all come right back, back, back to me if I watch Lapin work his building magic. Well, there's no time like the present. Let's go and speak to the captain of that ship and get to work started. New destination has been added. And I'm using the wrong button again. Ooh. Let's go to the boat. Uh oh. Oh. I didn't die. I, can I just go there? How did I use the yeah, seagull map? I just go like that. Oh, he's near the um, our house. Okay. What happens if we fall into the water. We die? Oh, the camera is not... Falling victim. You will take damage if you fall from a high place. Mm. Uh-oh. Oopsie daisy. No, wait. Don't fall. Don't jump like that. They already told you. The camera adjusts. So let me just change this because this is really annoying. Ready to go. And the camera is a little bit faster when we turn it. So... Hello sir, who are you and what are you doing here? We just eat a little bit of seaweeds. Now it's like we never fall. Ahoy there! Me briny builds rats. I haven't seen any other human for fathoms. The name's Brondir. I was painting the ocean blue, minding my business, when I sailed right into the path or one of the children of Argon's slave ships. I managed to avoid them, but only by steering into a terrible storm. By the time I realized, me map was back to front. I was already stuck in a coffee stain. I tried to turn back, but I was lost at sea. That's when I eyed this island on my 
on my port board, bow and punch it over. Uh, the thing that I really hate is reading text spoke by pirates or thieves or something like that because some words are really <laughs> hard for me to understand <laughs> right away. So, what's your story? How did you, young snapper rippers, end up here? My name is Lulu and this is the kingdom of Lulutopia. Or at least it will be. Once Lapin here is finished with it, you wish. Lulutopia, huh? Sounds like a lovely place for land lovers like yourselves. Hey, as a safe haven for a salted sea dog like me? Goddess only knows what you have become of me if I hadn't sloshed up to these shores. Goddess only knows what this guy is talking about. Yep. Tell you what, if you let me stick around, I'll be your chauffeur. Y your chauffeur. Oh, a pirate that knows French, of course. <laughs> I will ship you off to any island from here to the second stain of my map's backside. Or at least I will try, you see. I know this ocean's like the back of my neck, and I don't know me neck at all. <laughs> Great. <laughs> But if you hear of any islands nearby, I will happily ferry you over. <laughs> well, your boat's a bit on the small side, but it looks in decent nick. I'd say we've got a deal. Oh, ho, ho. it seems everything is drop, drop, dropping into place. The fine captain will take you to nearby islands, where I'm sure you will find plenty of materials and able, but but bodied helpers to bring back. Well, the first thing Lutopia needs is a little greenery. I can picture it now. Three lined boulevards, spacious parks, spacious parks and tables sagging under the weight of freshly picked vegetables. In that case, you should first visit Furrow Field, an island to the east, famed for its fertile fields fertile fields and fruit, fruit, fruitful farms. The, the island is home to a young lass with a bright future in farming and a dash dash dashing dandy with a bushy beard. They should be able to help your cause. I will mark, mark, mark it on the captain's brown beard's map. You just leave the setting to him. You heard the magic monster, Lapin? Oh, this is the part. Come and find me when you are ready to go and we will hide the anchor. It was five tones last time I checked. Five tones? What do you mean five tones? Um, oh, I just speak with you. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Ahoy, Lapin! Where will you holding anchor to today? Ooh. Oh, it's the one from the trailer. Got it, so this map will be fooled by islands all around. When you travel between islands, your save data will be overwritten and your autosave will be deleted. Oh, fun! Please do not exit the game or turn off the system until you reach your destination. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. But I must warn you, this vessel ain't built for chugging cargo. You will have to leave behind everything you gathered here and fish for more materials when we reach our destination. Oh, this stuff in the storage sack. Oh, is that the one there? Papa, Malroth. You have decided to go to these new islands then? Yep, we are not sticking around here any longer. Hop apart, Lulu, you are coming too. Actually, I think I will stay here. What the? So you'd leave all the hard work to us, did you? Just get on board. I'm sorry, but I can't. After what happened on Argon's slave ship, I don't think I can stop my setting foot on a boat right now. Huh. Yeah, right. But don't let that stop you from exploring this furrow filled place. I'll be fine here. I'm tougher than I look. I will let you know. You've got a big responsibility on your shoulders now. Lulutopia needs materials, food and new citizens. You have to find them and bring them back. Oh, and if you meet this farming prodigy out there, make sure she teaches you... She... 
teaches you how to turn this island into a green and pleasant land. Together we can make Lutopia. Topia a fur fur uh, oh a verdant paradise fit for a princess such as myself. You wish. You two go off 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 on your adventure. Lulu will be safe here in my care. <laughs> As if we can trust the word you say. Still, it's only Lulu's next on the line. So yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Alright, let's roll! We round up all these furrow fielders and put them to work in the sweatshops of Malorus. Empire of Evisceration. When you get back, we can have a grand gala jamboree to celebrate Lutopia's Foundation Day. Bon voyage! <laughs> Come on, Lapin! I can't wait to see what Forofield is like. All this talk of food and farming is making my tummy rumble. Let's go! <laughs> All aboard for you brought! Time to set sail! Oh, are you going there? Ready to depart. Here we go. Whee! To new lands. Let's colonize them all, like Europe. Though the Lord of Destruction has befriended a builder. Yep. Destiny moves in mysterious ways. Neither man nor monster can escape its influence. No, they cannot. But now, it's the time of creation. Build to your heart's content, young builder, while we await the day of awakening. Who's going to awaken? Our powers? Some monster? The world? Hmm. I need answers, please. Yes, we know. Can we move on, please? I'm pressing the, all the buttons, but nothing happened. There is only one who can save this world from oblivion. Malroth. The Lord of Destruction. Oh, okay, so... The one that is entitled with the, the Lord of Destruction will save the world from oblivion. Okay, makes sense. Why not? Plot twist. Where the bad guys save the world. I like it. It's a different premise. That we are used to. Oh, look, this now it's uh, sailing and is a boat. These little details. I like them. Coral field, the land of verdant vegetation. Ooh. Here we are at last. That hairy hermit's gonna got to nerve sending us all the way out here on the boat like this. The way it was listing from side to side. I'm amazed we made it here at all. Well, this tough or no list, you are sound and safe on the dry land now. Welcome to Furrowfield. Arr! At least I assume it's Furrowfield. Oh, <laughs> I never heard of the place myself, but I don't look like Baron or Zahem. Zahen. I can tell you that much. Anyway, I'm heading out for a bit to get the lie of the sea. But don't you worry, I won't sail away into the sunrise. I'll be back in time to take you both home. I think this guy's been drinking too much sea water. Come on, Lapa. Let's get going. I want to see what this island's got in store for us. Yes, same. Let's just see what we have here. Wood, I think wood is always important. The music is really cute. Oh, it was a bed. 
Now we have a few wood blocks. I think we are set to go. Can I destroy the... Okay, this is dry grass. What is that? Oh, it's a monster. This island is pretty weird, don't you think, Lapa? The trees are all withered, the ground gross and slimy. And the whole place stinks like someone left a sack of apples in the sun for a month. Do you really think we'll find the greenery we are after in a slimy, stinky place like this? Huh? Whoa! What the heck's that? It's some kind of pink pulsating thing. But what is it? Uh, let's find out. It's a monster, I can tell. I think it's some kind of fruit. I wonder what it tastes like. Don't! It's a monster! Do you reckon the whole thing's edible or... And it farted. <laughs> the stupid thing just blew up on my face. And what a thing. It turns dirt around. It all grows and slimy too. <laughs> I've heard the fruit going off before, but not like that. This place is crazy. Huh? I smell a fight brewing. Lapin, over there. Leave, leave me alone. There's no point trying to hit me. I'm nothing but skin and bone. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Come on, let's go and see what all that screaming is about. Let's go. We can, we can see really further away. Can I destroy this? No. Oh, that's right. I can bash. Ooh, I completely forgot about this. <laughs> Let's go save. Let's. I mean, we are supposed to save that people. That all about. Oh my god. We are supposed to save whoever is there on the background. But no, I'm just here collecting stuff. I'm really bad at attacking. I smell a battle brewing. What are they? Monkeys? Yes. Uh oh, I don't know if you can. Can I attack you? Yes, I can. Hey, <laughs> right in the butt. One down. <laughs> this is slapping his butt. <laughs> Come at me if you dare. I will. Bye. The baboons are defeated! What is that? Great! Ha! I will teach those monkeys to mess with us. To mess with us or not to mess with us? Right. Time to get some info out of Sally's Cream Salon. What the heck is that? Oh, there's some disgusting. Very disgusting indeed. Are you okay, Sa? <laughs> so this is how I die, as dinner for a big stinky ape. I hope I give them horrible indigestion. Wait, the monsters, they are gone. The scaredy cats must have turned tail and fled when they finally work out who they were dealing with. <laughs> yeah, right. Hmm? Yeah! Since when have you two been standing there? Since you beat the monsters? Oh, I see. Thanks for your help. My name's Rosie. What's yours? And what are you doing here? You're not that smart, Rosie, are you? He's Malrot, the amnesiac, and you are Lapa, the apprentice builder. And you have come here to find out how to add little greenery to your highland. You know, going around telling everyone you are a builder is a risky business. There's no telling how they might react. You are lucky you met me. You met me. And I might be lucky that I met you. Hmm. Alright, my mind's made up. You can't make an omelette without breaking a few rules. As the finest farmer of fur on Furrowfield 
it is my duty and pleasure to give you the grand tour of its finest farm. Come on, follow me. Shall we go? That way? Oh, I see. Yes. Wait for me. Whee! This way, I know, I know, I'm just... Collecting stuff. Shall we go? We shall. Oh, this is so fun. So cute. Um, okay. Oh, we have a bell. Oh, the water is gone. Is this your village? But it's just like... Everything is destroyed. What is that? Time ball on the corner. I don't know. It's like it's linked. Oh. Well, here we are, Furrowfield Farm. The greatest, greenest garden on the island. How do you like it? Uh, I don't mean to burst your bubble. But it's not that great. It's not even... It's not very green. It isn't even a garden. <laughs> oh, I know. That's because we haven't built it yet. Huh? huh? Borrowfield used to be a plant lover's paradise with vegetables and flowers growing everywhere and anywhere. But then the spoil spores appeared and turned all the hurt into horrible stinky slime. You can hardly even grow weeds in it. There was once a great farm here, the biggest and brightest on the whole island. And if all of us put our mind to it, I think we can bring it back. All of us? Are those guys mixed up in these two? Come, Perry. There must be something we can do. This is the least of our wit. Not to mention the soil. We have scant enough arable herds, as it is. I won't stand so close if I were you, Mr. Bonanzo, sir. This here spoil spore looks like it could go off any minute. And... Gun. Gun. Suffering slimes! Bonanzo, Perry, are you alright? Quick, you two, we have to get over there and make sure they are okay. Can we not just ask them if they are okay? Yep. They are not okay. Oh, we have a new working bench here. Yo, dudes, what's... Bonanzo, Perry, are you alright? We are rosy, but at last, our wheat is not. That spoil spore just obliterated the entire crop. Hmm? And who are you two, pray tell? I have not seen your face before. And to be honest, I think I'd rather like it that way. <gasps> Rude! This is Lapin and this is Maroth. Lapin says he's a builder! <laughs> Blaming heck! What kind of fella goes around telling everyone he's a builder? He must have something wrong with his head. Well said. Listen here, young Rosie. You may have fooled us this far, but we shall not be taken for ninnies. If you honestly expect us to believe that this so-called builder will somehow salvage this prosperous plan of yours, you are gravely mistaken. Come along, Barry. We are leaving. Oh, er, uh, alright. You must face facts, my dear, for Field Farm is gone. The dream is over and it is time to wake up. Don't! Don't abandon us! Ugh, that stuck up beardy bloke really rubbed me on the wrong way. Still, facial hair, felonies aside, he's, not a, he's got a point. There's no point trying to rebuild this farm if the soil's no good. You are wasting your time. No! I'm not! I'm the finest farmer on Furrowfield and Lapans, a real life builder. If we work together, I know we can do it! <laughs> Whoa! You really don't know when to give up, do you? Why do you want to rebuild this place anyway? Why? It's like Bonanza said. It's my dream. A dream, huh? You know, I never really got my head around all these hopes and dream stuff people go on about. Please, Lapa. I can do it on my own. You, you will help me rebuild Horrorfield Farm, won't you? Of course we will. Yippee! Now that I've got a builder on board, the farm's as good as built. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, sure. Lapin, Malroth, 
Welcome to the team. We are going to make this place the best farm ever. Let's get started then, shall we? The first thing we will need is a field to plant our crops in. Hmm... Where's the best place to put it, I wonder? If only we have some kind of sign. And it will appear. No? Eureka! A new recipe! Let's see what it is. Scarecrow. A stuffed straw man, straw man to drive off destructive pests. Ooh, causes residents to turn surrounding suitable soil into tiled earth. Oh. I want to do some farming. Now we have to use Scarecrow. What's the matter, Lapa? Huh? You are looking very pleased with yourself. You have worked out how to build Scarecrows? Of course. Scarecrows are always found in fields. If we stick one in the ground, everyone will know that's where our new field is. Hmm. So where should we put it? Maybe there? Huh. Aha, I knew it. Oh, I know just the spot. There's still a little bit of good clean soil over there. I'm so excited! I can hardly wait to start tilling the soil. But not until you officially mark the field with the scarecrow, of course. If you need materials, you can get cord from the vines that grow around here and wood from the trees. You just have to hit them with your hammer. <laughs> Go on, Lapin! Build us a scarecrow and put it in the middle of our new field. Of our new field. Yay! How do I jump? I forgot. Can I do one? Do you know something? I don't know. How to... I need to do a scarecrow. Oh! I forgot the... We have to use the... This one. Scarecrow. Oh, we need a cord. But I got one. No? Oopsie. Then let me just remove this. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's water. Oh. Let me try and... Uh oh, sorry about that. Oh, what's this? Oh, nice. Nice effect. Now we have four cords. We only needed one, so we are good to go. What's that? Oh, it's the quest. Oh my god, I'm always pressing the joystick. I don't know why my brain now is melting. Let's do our first scarecrow. Having a field day. When you place a scarecrow in the ground, the farmers will hoe any nearby herd and turn it into tiled soil. That's ready for sowing. Oh, the scarecrow is a monster. It's the... Um, oh, what's the name? Oh, look. Hey, so cute. <laughs> Let's place it. Fields. Ooh. Is that what I think it is? It is. Now that we have a scarecrow, everyone will know where to plant our crops. <laughs> Alright. You can leave the next step to me. It's tilling time. Now we just wait. Watch this. I'm a deep hand with a hoe. I'm glad she didn't say, I'm a hoe. <laughs> so bad this. Then we will wait for her to do this. And I will leave it here. And next time we will use this field of hers. So thank you for watching until now. And see you on the next one.